Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I want to discuss solving a problem many of you have encountered. Um, I get messages every day on this topic and I really designed this product to eliminate any confusion on how it's done. And that is AC power terminal splitting. If you're building a system, designing a system, one of the biggest topics that comes up is how do I distribute AC power coming into the enclosure to all my required components? Whether it be 110 volt, 220, whatever it may be, you're going to have to distribute all of that power coming in with one line into the electronics enclosure to all of your components and try to do it neatly and try to do it to where the system is serviceable. One of the biggest questions is, is do I wire everything in a daisy chain? Do I, you know, connect this component to that component? Do I have this one share this? Is there a terminal block output that, that we can do that with? And now there is. Um, basically what you have here is a live neutral ground terminal splitter for AC voltage. How this works, very simple. You can see your terminal block. This is a 600 volt, 15 amp terminal block. You can see I always use my thumb screws because I love them. It's simple to mount. This is the exact way it would mount in your enclosure. Of course, your enclosure would be down here somewhere, whatever thickness that may be. You'd simply undo the thumb nuts and you can have out your terminal splitter in seconds. Once that's done, take your lid off. You can see everything is properly graphic for easy identification. Again, that's ProGrade Graphics 3M8518 Scotch Cal Over Laminate. This will last virtually forever. Then we lift off the terminal block, and you can see what you got here is essentially a 24-point terminal block with three terminal splitters segregated into four-point systems. So what we've got here is 4, 8, 12, and that means a live neutral ground, or excuse me, ground neutral and live, will give you essentially eight component splits. So each one of these, you'll have the ability to split each line eight times, okay? This will usually solve virtually all of your component constraints. Um, if this is not enough, because I do have some guys out there with systems that have quite a few accessories, or if you're doing a pro-grade retrofit, let me show you another little cool thing, is that these units, you can see the terminal block, they mount vertical. So to mount them vertical, we're going to pretend, or actually we could show you, put the actual lid on. You're done there. If you required another terminal block, but you didn't want to actually mount horizontally this way or side by side, because again, the biggest question always comes up is the real estate that these units take. Uh, you can easily mount them on top of one another to keep everything really clean. Of course, you'd have to increase the screw length, but that's a very, very easy thing to do. And the beauty of going vertical in height means that, again, your real estate and your enclosure is never being compromised because, again, you have that availability of the height. Most enclosures have a lot of height available to them but are never taken advantage of. Doing it this way and, and just basically increasing your capacity of these, these components just by simply going in a vertical fashion, it translates into a much easier system build. So endless possibilities are definitely present. I mean, you can definitely see that this way keeps everything super clean. It makes it easy for you guys to identify everything. And again, we've solved another problem that something that has bothered me for years because I've been doing this now at least 10 years and one of the things I've always run into is I run out of either AC lines for components or trying to figure out a way to do it neatly and this is something I've been using for quite some time and it works extremely well. Um, I've put together the kit and the kit will naturally come with what you see right here. It comes with the terminal splitter, comes with the thumb nuts of course and to finish everything off I wanted to make it as complete as possible see if I can get it down here. You're going to get 50 wire ties, 20 wire tie hold downs, and 16 inches of 4 mil heat shrink. Um, that being said, you're also going to get 24 gold ring terminals. And I believe, hold on one second, I've got them right here. I'll give you an idea of what they look like. And I like ring terminals, guys, because ring terminals to me are just safer. And again, these ring terminals uh, they are the solder point type. I, I've seen guys do them without soldering. I highly recommend using solder for less resistance and safety. And I can assure you that these are screw lock. You don't have them coming loose. And you have the utmost in safety and, again, correct power distribution to your system safely. So, again, these are... This will be in a complete kit. Um, the whole kit will be $22. Again, it's turnkey, so basically the only thing you guys need is wiring. Um, but to get it wired in is virtually nothing you're going to drill two holes once the two holes are in you're all set and you're ready to go um, 
And like I said, if you guys have any questions, because this like this topic, I can't emphasize how many times I'm, I'm discussing this weekly. I really hope you guys find this video and I will naturally direct you to it because I know this will make uh, the more complex systems with plasma systems, um, systems with, like I said, you know, a large amount of components inside. You can choose to wire uh, different voltage uh, power supplies. I get questions on that all the time. It's totally up to you. But again, it will definitely streamline you doing all of your wiring and splitting everything neatly and keeping all the wires nice and tidy where nothing is loose. This will eliminate all that mess. So I hope it solves some of your guys' problems. If you do have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. You know I'm always there uh, to provide support if you guys need it. Um, again, you can contact me through my personal email at storm, S-T-O-R-M, 2313 at gmail.com. Or you can contact me through my eBay store, eDealers Direct. And my name is Vince. And again, I wanted to say thank you for all my subscribers. You guys have been wonderful. Um, a lot of repeat clients have been um, super supportive. And I just can't say I thank you guys enough. Uh, any videos that you want to see, I, I am going to do a video that I really wanted to uh, think about. It's taken me some time. And it's going to be on discussing business models because I'm getting a lot of questions on business. What do I do with my business? What do you recommend? You know, uh, what have you done and what have pitfalls have I gone through um, getting involved with this? And I'd like to discuss all that to help you guys. You know, anything I can do to help you avoid any of the pitfalls I've gone through, and believe me, there's been many, um, I want to do that. So I I'm, I'm just want to let you know I'm, that's going to be in a future video, and it's definitely something that I'm working on and thinking about. So once again, if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Thank you again. Take care.